This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for one of the greatest vertical scrolling spaceship shooters on the Famicom. It's Konami's excellent Crisis Force. And dig the artwork on that, kids. That's incredible. Released in 1991, this is the amazing Crisis Force from Konami for the Nintendo Famicom. And if you enjoy these kinds of games, I'll apologize in advance for spending your money for you. You won't leave this review without wanting a copy. And it's not cheap. It's a vertical scrolling spaceship shooter with one or two players simultaneous gameplay. And it has a couple neat tricks up its sleeves that set it apart from the crowd. You have three different spaceship configurations you can transform. That's right. You're an off-brand transformable robot. Also, if you collect enough of those gem-looking things, the blue ones, you'll turn into a super firebird uh, thing or whatever. That's really powerful and handy to have in combat. This is one of these games that has perfect pacing, incredible background detail, I love the colors, and the music is outstanding. This belongs on your shelf right up there with Truxton, Musha, Twinbee, Gradius, all the good ones. And while you may have thought this same thing yourself already by now, it's an 8-bit game, but it looks like a 16-bit game. This could be on Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. But it's not. In fact, it's not even on the NES. It's on the Famicom. And I'm playing it here with the AV Famicom. It looks and sounds great. You have two weapon classes, a blue one which is more like a straightforward laser beam machine gun, and the red one, which isn't a spread shot, but it's wider than the blue one, and when you go into your different transformable configurations, the red one will shoot better lasers off to the left and right. Holding down both buttons, the A and B button, will unleash a super bomb or super weapon, and that varies depending on which configuration you're in. Uh, Battleoid, Guardian, or Veritech, right? Or just Soundwave. You can take a few hits until your weapon strength goes down to zero, but if you're destroyed, you lose all your speed, and that's when your life really starts to suck. It's best to stay alive as long as possible with your weapons as strong as possible, because then you can really wreak havoc on the enemy forces. And it's tons of fun. I love this game. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of Life Force meets Musha. And if that doesn't sell this, I don't know what would. Crisis Force is also filled with neat little things. Check out the warping whirlpool here. Yes! That thing. You can definitely use that thing. Very helpful. Your super firebird power only lasts for a limited time if you can pick up blue gems while you're doing that. It'll stay a bit longer. You can take a few hits while you're in that form as well, but then you'll lose it. And trust me, you can use the extra power, especially if you get that thing activated during boss battles. Check out the volcanoes here, and if you're playing this in stereo, it, the music is even better in person. It's, it's great. Crisis Force is a must-have. Once again, I have a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to my man Mark from Fresh Meadows, New York. Thank you for this very generous 
gift to the show. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Crisis Force is a game that fans of vertical scrolling shooters do not want to miss. This is a good one. It's really well balanced. It's got loads of style, great art design, music. It's it's worth it. And the cartridge artwork is even better. Somebody go back in time and release this on the NES in larger quantities so it's more accessible to those of us living in the future. Crisis Force!